All right guys, time to assemble the torque converter. So this is just a cheap Chinese one. It's not a nice Comet one. Uh, you know what, it's gonna work for what I need it to. They're not too bad. Only downside is... So I did have to grind off a bunch of the housing uh, right back there, as you can see. Uh, obviously the oil fill was right in the way. And well, luckily, that's why the engines have two oil fills, huh? This one is gonna be a bit harder to get to because it will be up against the seats, but that's what I'm gonna have to work with. So these guys have a couple different mounting patterns, so you can angle it up and down, make it work however you want to with your cart. This is one I've chose. It worked the best with the least amount of modifications I had to do. So it comes with all of these bolts. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You got four bolts. Uh, they match most Hondas. Well, I'm assuming most Hondas. This is a Honda. It works. Uh, I've used a bunch on the Predators, on the 212 Predators, and I've used it on a 308 uh, Predator. So I think that's their eight and a half horsepower, or maybe their eight. Either way, that's what you do. It comes with a bunch of little parts. You may or may not uh, get instructions. If you are lucky, then, well, you're probably not watching this video. If you're like this one, it didn't come with any instructions. Luckily, I've already put a bunch on. So the first guy is that little washer back there. Uh, this is just a spacer that goes on there. And that is so then this guy doesn't hit those bolts. So next up is the inner uh, inner side of the pulley, the drive pulley. See, as you can see without that spacer, the pulley would hit the bolts. So, I think it comes with it, right? Next up, I'm going to do the uh, driven side. Uh, this comes with a washer with a key uh, cut in it, keyway cut in it. So that goes in there. Then I'm gonna do my key. Goes in next. Uh, now, the nice thing about these guys, um, these knockoffs, they come with two size of chain sprockets. So if you're running a smaller 35 chain, uh, you'll use that one. Uh, these Yerf dogs, the sprockets come with a 40, uh, 40 chain. So obviously I'm gonna use the bigger one. And if it uh, works out, you know, if your setup's a little different and you need it back here on this side, let's show you. You can actually slide all of this stuff to the back side. You can put this sprocket back over here onto that side. I'm going to keep it over here just because, well, this side works best with my setup. So. There's that key, sprocket. And next, the driven pulley. And you got your, your If you got an impact, it makes it nice and easy. If not, you're gonna have someone holding on to that. Okay, next up we're gonna put the belt on. Yes, there is a correct way to put the belt. Uh, we'll see if you can try and see that, this or not. Uh, this side of the belt is flat, it's perpendicular. This side kind of has an angle to it. So if you can take a look at that and guess which side's which, you can tell this side of the pulley's flat and this one has the angle to it. So obviously the flat sides go against that, angle side against this one. Make sure that gets put on the right way or else you'll rip apart your uh, belts really quickly.
Okay, next up is this little uh, insert bushing, whatever you want to call it. There is a correct way direction. It's got an integral key with it. So make sure that goes on first. Then this little outer washer bushing, whatever you want to call it. And then the bolt. Make sure you crank down on this guy really good. Last but not least, they do come with these little uh, covers. Uh, they're pretty nice. They're cheap. It's a cheap plastic. But problem is, if you're running your sprocket there on the inside, uh, you have to modify the housing. So, not going to put that on quite yet. 